Welcome to my new baseball channel called Purpose Filled Baseball. This is where I will help teach the game, spread some of the knowledge I've gotten over the years, but moreover, get into the strategy and the mindset of the guys on the field. This is something that I pride myself on because I wasn't the biggest guy on the team, but I managed to get the most out of the game by playing this. Behind me, I'll introduce you to some of the things that are on my wall as I'm a huge baseball collector. You are in my man cave. It is a collection, a treasure trove of baseball memorabilia, old World Series tickets, a um, lot of Negro League memorabilia as well. But here today, I've been asked to talk about the new rules baseball is going to implement. I'm going to tell you right now that the idea is to make the game shorter and they're doing everything but address the real issue. Since 2005, the game has gotten so much longer. It was two hours and 40, two hours and 40 minutes, I think, in 2005. It's now well over three hours. They've made all these changes to shorten the game, except the one that's most important, and that is to cut down the advertising between the last out of the previous inning and the first at bat of the next inning. Baseball must address that part. There's three minutes and 40 seconds, and you still have the pitcher throwing warm-up pitches. What that tells me as a fan is that the pitcher hasn't left the dugout often until halfway through that break. So we have to address that to make the game faster. When I was growing up in Houston, the game was often two and a half hours. It started on a weeknight at 7.35 p.m. We were often home by 10.30. All these experiments that did in minor leagues are great. They're great, except that they don't take account for the fact that there's nowhere near the amount of advertising dollars or revenue spent that direction. Secondly, let's talk about the shift. I think they've simplified the game to a point where people like me that are purpose-filled baseball uh, aficionados uh, who think that er the game is a science through every single pitch, every single movement, it is being slowly eroded to where it's just basically hit the ball, see the ball, feel the ball. The challenge we have is we're not bringing up kids through the schools and through programs that learn how to do the basic things. So we get the shift. Certainly, if a player is going to hit into the shift, they're going to get out. But the very clear thing that we see is that good hitters will hit the other way. Imagine trying to do the shift on Tony Gwynn. He might have hit 500 poking that ball into left field as he did. A good hitter knows to go the other way with, with the pitch. And so what if that second baseman is in shallow right field? It, it shouldn't matter. But remember, the manager making that decision who says, I'm going to employ the shift right here. I'm going to employ the shift. The manager making that decision is also making a decision not to play people in positions on the other side of the field. And I think there's a give and take. And I think the thinking of the game has gone awry by dictating to the managers where they should field their players. We've become so accustomed to the long ball that we have forgotten the fine art of the game. I, I don't think there's any advantage uh, to bunting for a sacrifice anyway. I've always instructed my, my kids or my team to bunt for a base hit. And, and frankly, why not? What is the difference? Why would you not bunt for a base hit on every play? Because if you're a good bunter, the sacrifice will happen at the very worst. But if you've got some speed and you can make the third baseman charge in or the first baseman charge in, you make a lot of things happen that have to happen very right for the other team. Purpose-filled baseball will do that. The game is changing. Uh, I, the, third, the third change was a larger basis. I don't have too much of a problem with that. Player safety is important. Um, at, uh, having said that, um, the slide rule that was in, uh, put in uh, a couple of years ago regarding Chase Utley's uh, hard slide in the playoffs that, that might have been marginally dirty. Who knows? Guys played that way if they played tough. I played tough. I wanted to get dirty and I wanted to get myself beat up uh, in a game and to my own sort of demise sometimes. So the point I'm making is the game was meant to be, as Ty Cobb said, it's not for molly coddles. I love baseball, and, and I love the way it's played. And I think there's an art to watching uh, the shortstop or second baseman jump over a guy sliding in. 
Check out this brutal slide by Hal McRae into Willie Randolph in the playoffs. Okay, I'll admit, that was very brutal. My goodness, can you see so many pictures of Ozzie Smith? Um, Bill Russell was real good at it. And then on, on the second base side, you had Robbie Alomar. And Davey Lopes, another guy that was able to do that. I'm not showing my Dodger favoritism here. Just saying, these guys were art artistically beautiful in turning a double play. And now you, you've made it so the guys are um, seldom have to slide over an incoming runner. At the plate, catchers got trucked. They get used to getting trucked. I got trucked at home plate. Um, I'm going to block that plate and try to keep the guy from getting there as the ball is coming in. Believe me, it happens about once every 10 times if you're a good catcher. It's amazing to me guys like Bench um, and Carlton Fisk and Thurman Munson stayed in the game as they did. They were tough guys. We know them as tough guys. They took beatings behind the plate. Uh, I'll never forget that Lou Pinilla just just leveled Carlton Fisk at, at the plate. You know what Fisk did? He gets up and he starts fighting. This was the way baseball was played. Now, Buster Posey, a tough ball player in his own right, snapped, got his leg snapped at home plate. And at, this was at a point in time uh, where I think attention to safety was becoming more and more important. Uh, Long-term contracts, millions and tens of millions of dollars in some cases, you've got to protect your investment. So I might not be in favor of it, the way the slide rule is instituted, but so be it. So there you have it. I'd love to know what your thoughts are. Leave your comments in the box below, and I'll make sure to answer each and every one of them. So I hope you have fun with baseball with a purpose. I look forward to seeing you hit like and hit subscribe, and let's make this thing take off.